Hey y'all, so this is Feature slash Editing Sally, and this is the raw footage of the procedure itself, but don't you worry, I'm definitely making a more detailed video full in depth of the entire process from consultation and pricing, pre-op instructions, more details around the procedure, uh, post-op medication instructions, post-op appointments, and just generally how my vision is doing after the procedure. I'm planning on doing some check-ins up to a couple weeks or a month for the night glare to completely go away. I want that video to be as detailed and as complete as possible, which is why I'm not putting it up right now. And so that will definitely be coming, it's just in the works right now. So, spoiler, I guess, is that my vision is great right now, it's 2020, and the only thing I have left currently is some haloing around lights, so I have some night glare when driving and when I just look at lights during the day as well, there's some uh, halo around it. And this is post-op day two when I'm filming this little thing, and so I look forward to seeing y'all in the future, and thank you for tuning in today. January, we're here at Lisa Plus doing a little surgery. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh, so we explain surgery. It's pretty easy. It's like being abducted by aliens. But one of the cool things is we'll be playing some music, do feel pressure, lose vision. But afterwards, we'll, we'll talk some more and sort of tell us what your experience is like. Okay. But I, I think it's the coolest thing you can do because uh, to be able to take somebody who's wearing glasses and contacts all the time and change their life, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so I was told not to wear any kind of eye makeup for three days following. Yeah, don't listen to the haters. Uh, <laughs> anybody that does that like doesn't want friends, and I want you to still be popular. Okay. So yeah, you can wear makeup as long as nobody's new, moving. I mean, looking. So here's the deal: as long as you don't rub your eyes and get the makeup off, we're trying to make the instructions more on proof. Uh -huh. Or you also may want to use some fresh makeup because it could be bacteria in the hole, mascara, okay. or whatever it is you're using. So as long as you don't rub your eyes and get it off, that's the key. And also use some fresh makeup, you should be okay. Okay. So if you have a party or something to go to, I don't want to be a grinch. What about like uh, perfumes and stuff? Yes, okay. after surgery you can wear it. We don't like it during surgery because the molecules from the perfumes can get on the mirrors and degrade the optics of the laser. Okay. But after surgery, all perfumes are better. And is it okay to do really like strenuous or aerobic exercise with the sweat? And yeah, the don't worry about sweat because it's your same bacterial flora and the wound's going to heal up after 24 hours. So okay. after about a couple of days, go to the gym and go hard. I don't want you to like turn into a blob sitting on the TV going, you told me not to do nothing. Okay. Yeah, don't blame that on me. I got you seeing. I want you to go out there looking good and feeling good. Okay. All right, cool. Well, let's go. Ready? Yeah. Hello. So I take in my things early. Yeah, time. come on, man. We gotta do this. <laughs> From this point, there's no original audio just because we have music blaring and I don't want to get copyrighted, so I'll just narrate what's happening. <laughs> so I hand over my glasses and he says, I never liked you. Just because you made me look smart doesn't mean I liked you. And then I say, now I can wear fake glasses. <laughs> All right, and now I'm just laying down and I'm waiting for them to get me some numbing drops for my eyes. And I'm waving hi to Diana, and Miss Diana is the one who's so graciously filming for me through this entire procedure. She asks how I'm feeling, and I say, not nervous, because it's a very safe procedure. And she said, yep, very safe. I ask, do you know how blurry my vision will be afterwards? And Miss Diana answered, you'll be able to see, but it'll just be a little foggy like you're opening your eyes underwater. And then I say, that'll just be like my normal vision. <laughs> and then Miss Jasenia came. And she's asking if I've gotten numbing drops yet, and I haven't. So she's adding some to my eyes, asking me to scoot forward. And these drops are the magic that are going to make me feel the procedure. So I'm just confirming my name and my date of birth before the procedure. She's just sticking some pads besides my eyes so my eye tearing doesn't get all up in my hair. We see Dr. January in the back getting ready for the procedure.
putting those gloves on sterilely. And some more numbing drops. And so this is the part where we make the flap. And so what I'm gonna experience is pressure from the laser of cutting the flap. And they're putting some, some tool inside my eye to really expose my cornea. And the machine is worrying now and when they were cutting the flap is actually the point where I lost vision for a little bit, which is totally expected. At this point I feel some sharp pressure from the laser, but it doesn't hurt, it's just a lot of pressure. And now we're moving on to the other eye for cutting the flap. So for the second eye, people typically feel this eye more in terms of the uncomfortable pressure and that's just because of how the brain responds to losing vision temporarily in the first eye. And so I did feel more pressure on this eye than the other one and it was a little bit more uncomfortable. Dr. January is gesturing to Diana to show the screen. So the screen is showing the progress of the flap as it's being cut by lasers. And the flap is round in that shape as well. And now that we've cut the flaps, now someone guides me to the other room where we actually do the laser correction. Diane asked how to go. I said, good. Dr. January is just singing along to his music. And I ask, is it okay if I blink? And he says, yeah, 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 do what you need to. This technology will also follow your people if your eyes kind of dart back and forth a bit, as they naturally do. And so now he's moving aside the flap that we made in the other room. And exposing the cornea beneath it. So you can see the reflection of the lights and lasers in my eye right now. So all I did is look at the light and then I see some more flashing green lights. And that's really it. I really didn't feel anything. It's just as if I'm looking at some Christmas lights or something. But those lasers are doing their work. And that was it. One eye is done now. Place a cornea flap back and then it kind of self seals. So now we're moving on to the other eye. And so they're prying my eyes open. <laughs> so 
See my eyes moving around a lot, but it's no problem. They move aside the corneal flap they made earlier and then the flashing lights start doing their work. And you can see my eye or my pupil is moving a little bit side to side, but that's okay. The technology can adjust to that. And that's it. The second eye is done. And just putting my flap back into place and I actually don't know what kind of drop that is. And pan away. Yep, and she's telling me that for my vision to be a little blurry is normal. And Diana's asking me, how was it? I say, fast. <laughs> and then they say, really fast? Easy? I say, yeah. Diana asks, can you see? I say, haha, yeah. And she said, is it a little better? And I said, it looks pretty much the same as before. And she said, yeah, very foggy, but that's normal. And so Dr. January says, let's take a look at your eyes, make sure they're all okay. I asked him if he could raise it a little, please. <laughs> he said, oh, I forgot how tall you are. I'm not really that tall, y'all. He said, looks awesome. You're done, you win. And here are the sunglasses for when you walk out. And then we asked for a picture. He's telling me that your optics get better with time as your brain adjusts to the new optics like spherical aberration, trefoil, meaning a point source of light like a Star of David, coma, I think he said, meaning a point source of light looks like it has a tail on it. Those things get better over the next couple weeks as the brain adapts, so it should get better. He says, awesome, congratulations, you're gonna love it. And of course, how can I end the video without me telling y'all that y'all are my treasure? And remember to find beauty in every day, and most importantly, be kind to yourself. I'll see you in my next video, bye! Let's go ahead and have some fun.